And now, a page from our Sunday morning almanac. April 14th, 1902, 111 years ago today. A momentous day on the frontiers of retailing. For it was on that day in Kemmer, Wyoming, that young James Cash Penny Jr. and two partners opened a dry goods store, a branch of the regional Golden Rule chain. I have a picture here on the desk of my first store. In 1957, Penny recalled those early days for Edward R. Murrow on the CBS program Person to Person. I, being a country boy and uh, not acquainted with the uh, city ideas, I, my first store, as you know, started in town of a thousand people. I, I chose that uh, because uh, I thought I could get to the hearts of the people quicker in a small town than I could in a large town. Indeed he could. J.C. Penny's first store made a pretty penny from the start. Over time, he bought out his partners, opened more stores, and eventually put his own name on the sign. By offering low prices and fair value, Penny became a top retailer while playing down any notion that he was a born salesman. I don't believe salesmen are born. I think that's a thing that must be acquired. James Cash Penny died in 1971 at the age of 95. But his stores prospered for years attracting a visit from Prince Charles and Princess Diana in 1985. Watch this, watch this. And providing a familiar all-American backdrop for time travel in the 1985 film, Back to the Future. But J.C. Penney's own road to the future proved a bumpy one, as his traditional approach faltered in a brand new century. In, one of the most in 2011, Penny turned to Ron Johnson, the Apple store chief, who quickly rebranded the company by its founder's initials. We're here today in the future JCP. On Sunday morning in the fall of 2012, Johnson showed off a flashy prototype of his store of the future to our Anna Werner. In the age of the internet, you've got to do more than be a place to buy. You've got to be a place people love to be. As it happened, people apparently loved neither to shop nor to be at Johnson's new look stores. After losing nearly a billion dollars in the year ending this past February 2nd, the JCPenney board made headlines this past week by firing Ron Johnson and by reportedly turning to the Blackstone Financial Group to raise an equivalent amount of what was founder JCPenney's middle name, Cash. Awesome. Thank, Thank you so much. much.